boys and girls. It's Miss Lisa, your art teacher. Welcome back to my table of art. I'm very excited today because we're moving on to a new color. It's a secondary color. We've been working with our primary colors. Do you remember what the primary colors are? Can I help you? Our primary colors are yellow, like the yellow ducky. Yellow is a primary color. Blue, like the blue balloons. Blue is a primary color. And red, like the red apple, is a primary color. So we have three primary colors. Yellow, red, and blue. Primary colors. Can you say them with me? Yellow, yellow, red, say it with me, red, red, and the last one, blue, blue, blue is a primary color. Primary colors I call the magic colors because our primary colors make up all the colors in the rainbow. Today we're going to start with a secondary color. It's a special color that is made when we mix, like we're baking something in a big bowl, when we mix two primary colors together, we get a secondary color. How about I show you on my color wheel? Maybe it'll, you'll understand a little easier. Here is my color wheel. They make up the colors in the rainbow. We have our primary color, which is blue. The blue balloons. That's a primary color. We have yellow. The yellow ducky. Remember him? That's a primary color. And red. The red apple. That's a primary color. So we have three primary colors. My magic colors that make up all the colors in the rainbow. Red, blue, and yellow. Primary colors. Today we're going to learn a new one. It's orange. Orange is a secondary color. When I take the color yellow and I mix it with the color red, it makes the color orange. Isn't that magical? orange. So how about we take a test? Can you tell me which item is orange? Is it the blue dog? Oops, I gave you a hint. Is it the dog or is the pumpkin orange? Which one is orange? Dog or pumpkin? Orange. Which one is orange? Pumpkin or blue dog? Orange. Did you say the pumpkin? If you said the pumpkin, you're absolutely right. The pumpkin is orange. And let's put that on our color wheel because it's orange. Orange. Look at that. Orange. Shall we try another one? Okay. This one might be tricky. Which one is orange? They look very close in color. Is it the little ball or is it the oranges? I think you might know this one. Is it the ball or the oranges? If you said the oranges, you're 100% right. The oranges are the color orange. And guess what? We're going to do a project today that's all about oranges and the color orange. So how about we get started? Let me put all my little cards away. In the meantime, we're going to need a few items. So if you have orange crayons, orange crayons, please get them out. Why 
find as many as you can. Some, car some coloring foxes have more than one orange. There's an orange yellow, an orange red, an orange orange. Any orange crayons you find, take them out. Because we're going to have fun with the color orange. Because today is orange day! Orange. So now, I'm going to bring it down to my table so you can see what I'm doing. So I'll grab my little helping friend, my helping hand, and bring you on down to see what I'm doing over here on the table of art. Here we go. Look what I've got. I pulled out a bunch of my orange crayons because I wanted to see the different oranges. And I decided on three different oranges for today's project. If you could find more than one orange, that would be great. This one is called yellow orange. I'm going to turn this over so we don't have... We, whoops, I got them all over. I was playing a lot while you were waiting for me. So here we go. We have yellow orange. That's my yellow orange crayon. Here's my orangey orange crayon. And then this one is called red orange. Huh. So look at that. Red orange, orange, and yellow orange. Three really good orange colors. Three different orange colors. Yellow orange, orange, and red orange. So now everyone should have a, a orange piece of construction paper. We could put that on the side for now because we're going to color first. The first thing we're going to take out, we have four oranges on a piece of paper. One, two, three, four. Four oranges. Can you count with me? One, two, three, four. Four oranges. And everyone should have a little piece of this red netting. Feel the texture of that between your fingers. It has a very rough texture. And we're going to use this red net to create texture on our oranges. How are we going to do that, you ask? Well, I'll show you. We're going to start with the first orange on our paper. We're going to take this red net and we're going to put it on the table that you're working on. Then you're going to place your printout of oranges right on top of that. Pick one of your orange crayons. If you can peel it down, because we're going to need to hold our crayons on their side and rub. Watch what happens when I rub over the nylon onto my paper. And you could go over the orange because we're going to be cutting them out. Look at the texture it created on my orange. Just by having this netting underneath the paper. It almost looks like a real orange with all the little dimples in it. It looks like texture. It's the illusion of having a texture on the paper. I'm going to continue with my second orange. I'm going to place the netting on the table. I'm going to place my orange printout over the netting and I'm going to pick a different orange crayon. I didn't peel this back, but if I keep it flat, I'll still get the texture. I'm going to go back and forth over the entire orange because I want to cover the whole orange. Look at this great texture. Don't you guys love this? And look how interesting with the two different orange colors, textures and different colors. All the same being orange. Different tones of orange. Orange red, orange, orange. Let's move on to another orange. I'm going to put my netting underneath this orange. You could feel it when you rub your fingers across the paper. I think I'm going to use my yellow orange this time. And I'm just coloring right over this orange. And the netting is underneath. 
and the texture of the netting is coming right through that orange. Look at the great texture we've made on these oranges. You actually could feel the texture. If you close your eyes, you can feel the texture. Even if you cannot see the orange, if you close your eyes and feel the paper, the texture of the netting came right through with the crayons and you can feel it's a bumpy surface and it has an actual texture. And if you need to imagine what the color orange is, close your eyes and think about the smell when you cut open on a juicy Florida orange. Smell that orange scent. Bite into the orange. Let the juices flow down your chin and enjoy your orange color through your nose, through your taste buds, through your imagination, and now through your texture. The color orange. It has texture. It has a smell. Fresh oranges off the trees in Florida. It has the juicy flavor of orange. Okay, we have one more orange to color. You could pick any color orange that you've used because I have three I'm going to need to use one twice. There's four oranges and I only had three different color oranges. So here's my last orange. I'm rubbing right over. The texture came right through again. I could feel it. Now I'm going to take my netting and I'm going to put it away for another day because that was a lot of fun. The next thing we need to do is we need to color the bowl that our oranges are going to sit in. I'd like you to use two different oranges. Use your darker orange inside the bowl. And use a lighter orange on the outside of the bowl. We're not using texture for the bowl. We're just coloring it in. I like this dark red orange. It's a very pretty color. I could see almost how the red has been mixed with the yellow to create these beautiful orange colors. Again, that orange is a secondary color that we make by mixing yellow and red. Yellow and red are the primary colors. They make all the colors in the rainbow by mixing two together. There's the inside of my bowl. Now I'm going to color the outside of my bowl. And again, you don't have to stay in the lines because we're going to be cutting this out. And this is all different shades of different tones of orange made by mixing red and yellow. How beautiful. All right, now that we're done coloring our bowl, we can cut it out. So grab your scissor and always remember scissor safety when you're working with a scissor. I'd like you to try to cut it before you ask for help. And then if you can't cut it still, then you can ask for help. We're going to always try before we ask for help. Otherwise, we'll never be able to do it. We just want to try everything before we go for help. So I have my bowl cut out. Now I'm going to grab that orange piece of construction paper I told you we were all going to get. And we're going to put it right on top of the orange construction paper. So you're going to need to grab some glue. And you want to glue the back side of your bowl. I'm using a glue stick. You can't really see it because it's clear glue. But I'm making sure to get towards the edges of my bowl. And now I'm going to flip it over. 
and press down. There we go. Alrighty. Now let's grab those oranges, those beautiful oranges with the lovely textures. And let's cut out our oranges. I like to separate the oranges first because then it makes it easier to cut each one individually. Instead of holding that big piece of paper, all you have to do is hold the little paper. And don't worry about being perfect. We're having fun. Try to get near the line. If you don't, that's okay. Here's my first orange. I'm just going to place them in the bowl for now. Here's another orange. Look at the great contrast between all the different oranges. Hey, and don't worry, if you only had one orange crayon, you can still do this project. You'll just have all the same color oranges. And that's okay. We're working with the color orange and texture today. Colors and textures. And we're cutting out shapes. Colors, textures, and shapes. Round shapes and oval shapes. The oranges are round. Look how round the orange is. The bowl is more of an oval. Almost half of a circle. So now we have our four oranges and we need to glue them down. So decide where you want to put your oranges in the bowl. Some may overlap the other. Overlap means on top of the other one. And that's good if you want to overlap your oranges because that makes it more realistic. Meaning it looks more like a real bowl of oranges. If I put them all straight across, that's not how I would see oranges in a bowl. But if I overlap some, that looks more like a bowl of oranges. Alrighty, so let's start gluing down our oranges. Again, my glue stick is white, so you can't really see it. And try to stay in the one area of your bowl. This darker area is inside the bowl. The lighter area is outside the bowl. So we want to stay inside the bowl with our oranges. And we want to overlap them. Look how Miss Lisa's overlapping her oranges. And the last orange I'm going to put right up on the top. Loving all the colors. Notice how it passes the back rim of the orange, of the bowl. That really looks like a realistic bowl of oranges. And I'd like to eat them right now. How about you? Okay. Take your time. Don't rush. When you're done with your bowls, then what you're going to do, let me lift this up. I've sent you a sheet of paper that has red plus yellow equals orange. I would like you to cut that out and glue it to the top of your orange paper. So you'll always remember that red plus yellow equals orange. All right, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed learning about a new color today as much as, as much as I enjoy teaching you about a new color. A secondary color, not the primary, a secondary. What are our primary colors? Red, blue, and yellow. What are our new secondary color that we learned today? Hmm, I know. Orange is so delicious. I think I'm going to go get an orange right now. So I have to go now because I'm going to go eat an orange. You guys have fun making your projects and I'll see you next week with a new secondary color. I can't wait to show you. It's going to be so much fun. So this is Miss Lisa, your art teacher, saying ciao for now from my table of art. Be good, be safe, and I'll see you next week. Bye kids, miss you. Hope you miss me too.